Hi there. So a student asked me uh, what I thought was a really good question uh, just recently, and it's not something that would necessarily occur to you that you need doing your homework where you're using Alice as an opportunity to prove that you know basic programming skills. But when you get to working on your final project and you start using Alice more as a way to tell a story and more in the way that uh, you know a filmmaker working for Pixar or Disney Animation or something might, you'll find pretty quickly in many instances that you need some additional help taking the best use of camera angles. Particularly when you know, you get, you're know you looking to get your camera angle just right and you want to remember it. So the student came to me saying exactly that. Uh, I spend a lot of time getting my camera angles just right and placing the camera really creatively and then of necessity I have to move the camera and I can't easily get back to the original position without driving myself nuts, spending an awful lot of time and never getting it exactly the way it was the first time. Is there anything I can do about that? And uh, luckily enough for all of us, there is, and it's really easy. So I'm going to show you exactly that. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in the object view. So you click on the add objects, you're taken to the object view here. This is familiar to everyone. Uh, you have this more controls button here. And if you click it, it will give you some additional options that you may not have experimented yet. And they will give you the option that will solve all your problems, which is drop dummy at camera. So let's click that. You see it adds a dummy objects directory right here. And inside this directory is the first dummy object that we just created. Now, my recommendation is, especially since if you need one dummy object, chances are you're going to wind up needing multiple dummy objects, is to name your dummy objects descriptively so you know which is which. So we'll call this one close up. Okay, close up dummy. And a dummy is an, an invisible three dimensional object that can allow you readily to orient the camera. So you see it's an object in Alice just like everything else in the object hierarchy. And uh, to give you an appreciation for how this works, let me create another dummy object. So let's move the camera somewhere else. Let's move the camera um, our dragon seems to be floating in the air for some reason. Let's move the camera way up high over the dragon's head and let's orient down so that we can find the dragon. Has the dragon gone away? There it is. Okay, so we can call this shot our, and I'll move up a little higher and down a little lower. Okay, so there's a nice additional shot that might be useful and dra dramatic in some circumstances. So let's drop another dummy and you'll see an additional entry in our dummy objects directory and let's change the name of this dummy to overhead again it's, it's a good oops I guess I didn't actually change that uh, overhead dummy and so now we have these two dummies and you can see I'll move the camera somewhere else so I'll move the camera where uh, let's see here so here's some useless camera angle that you know we don't need to keep a dummy for this one but it's neither of the other two if I go here below drop dummy a camera to move camera to dummy and choose the close-up dummy, it gives me the close-up vantage point. And alternately, if I choose overhead dummy, whoop, it gives me that vantage point. So this can be super useful to you as you experiment with camera angles and getting your storytelling visually just right. And I hope you do experiment with that and I hope this makes your life easier. Uh, in a follow-on video, I'll show you how to use this at runtime, but for the time being, I think this is enough to be of significant benefit to you. At least, I hope so. Uh, that's all from this end. I uh, hope you're studying hard. I will see you in cyberspace.